So I was playing some Injustice Gods Among Us earlier, trying to hone these mad skills for when Injustice 2 comes out in a few months, and eventually I started playing some matches as everyone's favorite speedster, Barry Allen, aka The Flash. <laughs> And while we see Barry pulling off some decent speed feats throughout the game, like slowing down time, running across the country, being practically invisible to people, that sort of thing, easily the fastest we see him is during the animation for his super move, when he punches someone, races around the world, and punches them again with all that force he generated with his run. So awesome. But while that animation is cool and all, we're never told exactly what level of speed gamers were looking at. So it got me to thinking about two things. How fast is Barry running when he performs his super move? And how much damage is he going to be able to deal out with a punch like that after running at whatever speed he's traveling at? Plus, I haven't done a calculations video about a DC character in a while, so I felt like doing another one. Anyways, let's take a look and find out. Alright, so first, let's figure out the numbers we're going to be using in our calculations. Now, if we check out the animation for the super move, then counting from when he punches someone to when he returns from his round the world trip and punches them again, then the Flash is running around the planet in about 7 seconds. Alright, so now let's take a look at the actual path the Flash is running during this animation. Because he's running around the world to build up his momentum, we can use the circumference of the Earth as a measurement of the distance he traveled. Now the circumference is usually going to be a different number depending where on the planet you're measuring it from, either on the equator or from pole to pole, but since the animation for the super move is always showing him running around the world at the equator, that's what we're going to use in this calculation. And since we're going with that, then the circumference of the planet is about 24,874 miles or 40,030 kilometers. Alright, so now that we have our numbers, we just need to do a little math. Dividing the circumference of the Earth by the 7 seconds Flash takes to run that distance, we end up with a speed of about 3,553 miles per second, or 5,717.999 kilometers per second. Now, if we convert that into our more traditional units of measurement in miles and kilometers per hour, then we get a confirmed super move speed of 12,790,800 miles per hour, or 20,584,797.23 five kilometers per hour. Damn, that is seriously fast. For comparison, the fastest rocket ever built by humans up to the time of me recording this video is the New Horizons, a rocket NASA sent off to Pluto back in 2006. On Earth, that rocket had a launch speed of 36,373 miles per hour, or 58,536 kilometers an hour, meaning that during this super move, the Flash is running over 351 times faster than the fastest rocket launched from the surface of the planet. Anyone he's punching better be grateful for those Superman pills they're supposedly taken, or Barry could have obliterated them like this was a Mortal Kombat game. But while getting hit by somebody at that speed is definitely going to be really painful, the person running at that same speed isn't exactly going to have a great time either. Remember, the average orbital speed of the Earth is about 67,100 miles per hour, or 108,000 kilometers an hour. Taking that into consideration, the Flash is running over 190 times faster than the orbital speed of the Earth. If Barry runs in a straight line, which it looks like he is based on the animation, then he'd be shooting off into space the second the Earth started to curve under him, since he'd be running fast enough to break gravity's hold on him. I'm guessing the speed force helps keep him cemented to the ground or something when he travels that quickly, but in order to keep yourself earthbound at that speed in real life, you'd not only need to be pushing yourself forward, but also downward. And even with that having been said, staying on Earth while running at super speed is actually the least of Barry's worries. You see, running at that speed and punching somebody with all that built up force would mean that the Flash would be turning himself into one of the worst possible disasters for a city he's fighting in. He'd be killing everybody with his punches, not just his opponent. How do we know this? Well, in order to figure this out, we need to know how much kinetic energy he He's generating by running at that speed. And we can do that by using this formula here, where kinetic energy is equal to half times the mass of our object, or in this case person, times the velocity they're traveling at squared. Now we know his speed is 12,790,800 miles per hour, or 20,584,797.235 kilometers per hour. So now we just need to plug in Barry's weight. And thankfully we don't have to guesstimate at it because the Injustice Wiki already has it listed. According to the Wiki, the Flash weighs in at 195 pounds, or 89 kilograms 
kilograms in the Injustice universe. Alright, so now if we plug our numbers into the formula, then we find out that Barry's running is generating 7 quadrillion, 280 trillion, 403 billion, 90 million, 400,000 joules of kinetic energy. Aside from just being a ridiculously big number, this is bad news for any city Barry's fighting in. If he allows his punch to actually connect with his opponent, like we see in the game, instead of just running through them and cutting them in half, then Barry would create an energy impact equivalent to 1,740,058.1 tons of TNT going off all at once. That much force packed behind an average sized fist? The Flash wouldn't just kill whoever he's punching, he'd obliterate his surroundings too, as well as everybody who happens to be living in that area when he does it. What a hero. And there you have it guys, that's how fast the Flash would have to go in order to pull off his super move in Injustice Gods Among Us. If you like this video or you want me to do any other video game calculations, then don't forget to let me know in the comments below. And like always, keep leaving me comments with your suggestions. You guys have been coming up with a ton of great ideas for future videos, so thank you to every single one of you guys. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but I finally reached over 10,000 subs yesterday. Seriously, all of you guys watching my videos and subscribing to my channel are awesome. Big thanks to all of you. And I know I'm going to be a little bit late with this, but I'm going to do a 10k Q&A special, and I want to answer any and all of your questions. So if you guys want to know pretty much anything about me or this channel, you know, within reason, leave a comment below and I'll answer it in my Q&A video. All right, I will see you all next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to click that like button, maybe leave me a comment while you're at it, and go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to check out any of my social media pages. I've got a Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. All those links are going to be in the description below. And I've also got my last video right there in the middle of your screen. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and click it, check it out. All right, and I will see you all next time.